Welcome to What of the World and you're still joining me on Safari, where the last time you saw us in Tarangira and the Nagoro Nagoro crater. And this time we visit the national park called Lake Manjara. And of course our dream safari needs a dream vehicle and a dream guide. So we're going with Best View Safari. First let's look back on the past two weeks. We fell in love with the paradise island of Zanzibar. In just an hour and a half we flew to the mainland in Arusha for some nice safaris. And the next adventure begins in this scenic spot in the African countryside. We spent the night again in a typically African little village called Karatu. And the highest building in that village is the hotel we slept in. It's called Omega View Hotel and Resort. The truck is ready, the driver's here, the guide is here, so we're going for a new safari. Let's go! It's gonna be a long day, so while enjoying an amazing view, we have a thorough breakfast with some local specialties. Today the jeep takes us to a unique pink lake in the middle of the African savanna. The first place that we stop is not the national park yet, but a viewpoint to see Lake Manjara in the distance. And here in the front is the park where we're gonna drive around and see all the animals. A great start of the day. Wow! And the pink lake is not the only special thing about this park. There's an animal here with some exceptional qualities that's found nowhere else in the world. Today is already our third day on safari in Tanzania. And where yesterday and the day before we went to two other places called Tarangira National Park and the Nagoro Nagoro Crater, today we dive right in the middle. Because on an hour's drive of both of them we find Lake Manjara National Park world famous for the tree climbing lions. So we're gonna try and see them, a lot of other animals too, and the big five score is four out of five today because we still need to find some leopards. But let's do that. The first animal that we spot is this white-throated blue monkey. Shortly this one is called the Manjara monkey and this one is also endemic for this particular national park. When we first enter Lake Manjara National Park, there's a lot of jungle, so we can see some monkeys in the trees, but there's also a lot of savanna and grass. So over there, there's other animals. But first we see many more monkeys, including a whole family of green baboons. And father seems to suffer from some morning wood. Good morning! In the grassland we are surrounded by these beautiful impalas. I see one of the big five guys, the buffalo. A lot of them. The 
These may just seem like tame cows, but with their large, sharp horns, they can even defeat lions. Look over there guys, there's an elephant in the bushes. One of the big five, check. When the Lake Manjara National Park was founded in 1960, it was mainly to protect the elephants. With almost a thousand elephants in only 100 square kilometers, you will not find more elephants anywhere in the world than here. The Lake Manjara National Park is situated between the so-called Lake Manjara and the Great Rift Valley, which is a crack in the earth that goes through Africa for thousands of kilometers. The entire park is about 325 square kilometers big, and about two-thirds of that is all lake, which is pink, by the way, if you look closely, because of all the microbes that live inside it. Uh, this lake gives life to all the plants, all the animals over here in this valley. We continue our drive through this wonderful piece of nature and we see zebras, all kinds of birds, and giraffes. Wow guys, look how close they are. And there are several, I think a whole bunch, maybe 12, just walking around the car here. In the month of January, most of the animals that we spot here in Tanzania seem to have little ones. And how cute are these baby elephants? Let's continue because we still have to catch those three climbing lions. Over here we got Pumbaa and his entire family, so who knows, the Lion King might be closer than we think. Well, it's not exactly lying in a tree or climbing, but there is a lion over there in the bushes. It's kind of sleeping.
This always remains my favorite advice to people doing safari drives. When you see a toilet, make sure you use it because if your bladder gets full and there's a lion next to the car, I don't think you want to get out to pee against a tree. This little fella over here is a green velvet monkey. Time for lunch. That's it guys for this episode and also our trip in Tanzania. We went on three different safaris and we had so much fun doing it. But it's time to leave Tanzania, but not Africa yet, because we're going to the next country, which will be South Africa. And from there, we have a camper van, see some other countries, do some more safaris. So I'll see you soon in the next episode. Yay! I already saw the sign when we came in, but that would be lying because now we visited it and we can do a check. Check, check. We drive back to the hotel and the next morning we receive a special announcement from our airline. Good morning guys, it's a very special day because we're gonna make a very big trip through Africa. First we're gonna to fly to Dar es Salaam, which is the capital of Tanzania. And from there we fly to South Africa. But the flights have changed and that's why we have to make a long stopover in Rwanda. So we'll have to spend the night there near Kigali, the capital. Uh, which makes it very cool to visit even more African countries. And after that we fly to South Africa and make a beautiful road trip through Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe with a camper van. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And this is the morning here, still in Tanzania, have some breakfast. So suddenly we are preparing for Rwanda. Fasten your seat belts for even more Africa. Welcome to Rwanda, baby. So we're here guys, this is Kigali in Rwanda. And normally we would fly today to Cape Town, but we fly tomorrow because of a flight change, I've already told you. But they've taken care of everything and a guy is walking with us everywhere. We didn't even have to go through customs. It was all easy and we're gonna be brought to a hotel to spend the night here. All on Rwanda, yeah. So we just got to the hotel in Kigali and I went straight up to the sixth floor because it's the highest one and I wanted to show you the view because we're in Rwanda one day so I have to show you something. This here is literally the only building I know from Kigali. You see it in all the pictures and at night it all lits up with beautiful colors, so. Costing $300 million, the Kigali Convention Center is even the most expensive building in all of Africa. Just like I told you guys, look at the pretty lights. And it's in the colors of the Rwanda flag. One giant Christmas ball. <laughs> Wow guys, that moment that you are in Rwanda for just one night and they decide to give you a whole house with a living room over there, one over there, the bedroom, a bathroom, maybe there's two, I don't know, it's like MTV Cribs in here, <laughs> and the dinner's included and the breakfast. So Jens, get ready for bed. Wow! 
<laughs> what an experience so far, and this is what awaits us in South Africa. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you there.